Do you know this characteristic effect associated with journalism? It's called a typewriter effect and today I'm going to show you how you can easily make it with just a few lines of CSS. Ok, so we have a simple paragraph here with two classes, text and animation typewriter, that do nothing so far. We need to write CSS for them. First, let's import a Google font associated with journalism. Now let's apply it to the body. Anonymous Pro Mono Space. Like this. Now let's set some nice dark background color to the body. in HSL format. Let's say 11% of lightness. And now it would be a good idea to change the color of the text to some light color. HSL, I definitely prefer to use HSL over hex or RGBA colors because with HSL it's very easy to adjust the intensity and the lightness of every element. So let me say 0% and lightness 90%. Let's see how it looks like. Maybe a bit darker. All right, now let's take care of text. So we want it to have a relative position. And we want to add a border right. Two pixels, solid. And let's use some HSL. Well, I think the same color as here. And maybe let's increase the font size. 180%. And let's align the text to the center. Now we want a white space to have a value no wrap. Let's make overflow hidden. And now it's time for the most important part, animation itself. So we'll use this class animation typewriter. Let's create an animation. Animation type. Reader writer. Four seconds steps. 44. One second, one normal. Both. So it's not a tutorial about animation, so I'm not going into details here. I'm assuming that you already know the things, or if you don't, just go and see our other tutorials dedicated to animation. Blinking cursors, 500 milliseconds, steps, 44, infinite, normal. And now let's take care of keyframes. Keyframes time writer from with zero 
two with and here we need to define the width of our text so in my case it's around 525 pixels and the next keyframe for blinking text cursor from border right color let's copy the color of our here of our text to border right color transparent well, let me zoom out this and now if you want it always stay in the middle first let me zoom this out once again we need to add to the text class margin zero auto so it will always keep the margins on the left and the right exactly the same width perfect additionally if you also want to align it vertically to the center we can simply set a height to the body equals to 100 VH units and then we'll use a flexbox display flex and align items center and that's it simple little trick that I hope you will find useful if you like it, give a thumbs up to this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.